this we have only a suction wall and exhaust wall air is compressed from low pressure to high pressure at the end of this the pressure attained is very very high because the compression ratio use is around 16 to 22 this process is compression and is isotropic process so compression ratio r is v1 by v2 at this point when the piston reaches at tdc the fuel is start injected point 2 cross at the end of tdc entire space is filled with air no spark plug is used only injectors are used so we have injector here injector will inject some fuel so some time will require to prepare the air fuel mixture and then the combustion will start so combustion will start and will complete at point number three at this interval the piston position is recorded is at this point so this one is v3 this one is v2 and this one is v1 so at the point three the v at the fuel is cut off so fuel is cut off at this point two the fuel injection start so this is injection start so now, from 3 to 4 we have isentropic expansion so piston will start moving from 3 towards bdc will continue to move up to point number 4 and at constant volume it will be rejecting the heat to constant volume and the cycle is completed this one is expansion process expansion is also carried out under isentropic process so we define another ratio called as expansion ratio is called as re as the ratio name indicates it's on expansion process must be higher than one so v4 divided by v3 compression ratio and expansion ratio they are entirely different ratio if you prove here that r is equals to rc into re check out this rc is v3 by v2 re is re is v4 by v3 you left with v4 by v2 but observe pv v4 is same as v1 so this relation holds good normally they never provide you expansion ratio they will provide you compression ratio and cutoff ratio so from cutoff ratio you have to calculate rc first and then you have to calculate value of re this isentropic process so t2 by t1 or equals to t1 is same as v1 by v2 to the power gamma minus 1 these are same that we have developed for auto cycle so t2 equal to t1 into r to the power gamma minus 1 t24 3 to 4 entropic cycle but from 3 we can calculate 4 so this one is t3 equals to t4 is it <coughs> this law is not applicable for 2 to 3 but 2 to 3 is it a constant pressure process so 2 to 3 is a constant pressure process constant so p2 v2 by t2 p3 v3 by t3 so is t3 is equals to t2 into v3 by v2 but v3 by v2 is rc this standard relation this equation only applicable for isentropic only applicable for isentropy this equation you can apply to any process as queuing so queuing equals to constant pressure acp into t3 minus t2 ted at constant volume process so q out is cv 
into T4 minus T1. In auto cycle, both are CV. This time, one is CP and one is CV. So, cyclic integral del Q is same as cyclic integral del W. Therefore, W net equals to Q in minus Q of diesel cycle is W net by Q in. Q in minus Q out upon Q in equals to 1 minus Q out upon Q in. 1 minus. What is Q out? Q out is CV into T4 minus T1 by CP. Q in is T3 minus T2. CP and CV. So this is 1 by gamma is T4 and let call it 1. Now one idea is to solve this equation is to find out all temperatures in terms of T1 and probably I had done that job here. So first of all I will start with T2. So T2 is what? T1 into R to the power gamma yeah, minus 1. Let call equation number 2. Replace all this value in terms of this equation that is T2 multiplied by RC. But what is T2? T2 itself is equal to T1 into R to the power gamma minus 1 into RC. Let call equation number 3. The only thing is left is T4. Before we have developed somewhere here. So T4 equals to T3. That RE will be 1 by RE. This one. And RE we can replace RE. 1 by RE is equal to RC upon R. RE will go to this side is 1 by RE. And RC will come in denominator. So we have T3. Let's say T3 into T1 upon RE is RC upon R to the power gamma minus 1. But again we have a hurdle of T3. What is T3? T3 is T2. T3 is T2 into RC. So this one is T2 into RC into RC upon R to the power gamma minus 1. This RC and this RC is uh, RC to the power gamma and R to the power gamma minus 1 and R to the power gamma minus 1. So what we get is T1 into R to the power RC to the power gamma. So efficiency equals to 1 minus 1 upon gamma T4. What is T4? T1 into RC to the power gamma. T1 RC to the power gamma minus T1 minus T1 R to the power T1 multiplied by RC minus T2 T2 T1 R to the power gamma minus T1, 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 T1 cancel out. In denominator, R to the power gamma minus 1, R to the power gamma minus 1 is common. So it will take it common. 1 minus 1 upon gamma and additionally we have R to the power gamma minus 1 is outside. This one is RC to the power gamma minus 1 upon. This is RC minus 1. This one is the efficiency equation for diesel cycle. The comparison between auto and diesel based on same compression ratio and same heat input. Because uh, dt by ds in the ts plot will be t divided by what? Cv. And Cv is smaller as compared to Cp. Cycle, the first condition is given that the same compression ratio. If you are given the same compression ratio, it means that you are working from 1 to 2 only. So 1 to 2, then it is followed by what? Constant. It means that there must be some different point here. So let's call this point equals to 4 dash. Now 4 dash to 1 is a constant volume process. So let's expand this. 
and go to this point equals to 4 dash. If the 4 dash is on the same cost volume line, is this is the same cost volume line? So we'll continue like this. This is 4 dash. So 1, 2, 3, 4 dash, 1, 2, 3 dash, 4 dash is diesel cycle. The efficiency is given by W net by Q in, which is same as Q in minus Q out upon Q in is same as 1 minus Q out upon Q in. As I said, it is the same heat input. It means that 2 to 3 is same as 2 to 3 dash. So we are not comparing Q to 3 or Q to 3 dash. We say it is same. Now what matters is Q out. Now the heat area under TS plot represents the heat. So this one is the area for auto cycle. This one is the area for auto cycle. So this one is Q14 for auto cycle. Or we can say this one is Q rejected. Or we can say this is Q out. But if you see the area under diesel cycle, then is the area under diesel cycle is more this one is total area for diesel cycle. So this one is Q out for diesel. Now Q out is numerator. Larger the value of Q out, lower will be the efficiency. So can we say that the efficiency of diesel is less than efficiency of auto? Because heat rejected for diesel cycle is it more than the heat rejected for auto cycle for same heat input. So if you keep the parameter compression ratio same and same heat input, what you conclude? The diesel cycle is less efficient as compared to auto cycle. It's a maximum pressure is a criteria and same heat supplied. Maximum pressure you can denote on PV and heat supplied you can denote on TS diagram. So 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is a maximum pressure. Again, I can say that if I start from this point, this point, is this become an auto cycle? This is the auto cycle. And if I consider this one, my P max is same. At the same time, I have to handle the heat separate also. So I will make it more generalized. Rather than this, I will take this one. Okay, That will adjust my same heat supplied. This is a mistake that we have made in the last case also. So I will make this one is 1, this one is 2 dash, this one is 3 dash and this one is 4 dash. What is 1, 2, 3, 4 is diesel cycle. 1, 2 dash, 3 dash, 4 dash, auto cycle. 1, 2, 3, 4 on diesel. If you observe this PV diagram, 1 to 2 dash is a compression ratio for auto. And and 1 to 2 is a compression for diesel. Higher the value of compression ratio, higher will be the temperature. So for, I have marked the point 2. It means that the point number 1, 2 prime or 2 dash, can I locate at this point? Is the temperature attained at the end of compression process for auto cycle is less as compared to diesel cycle. So therefore, I have to mark 2 dash somewhere here. First point is justified. So at a certain point, the constant volume line will be like this. And the constant pressure line will be like this. As far as this is concerned, I have already drawn the constant pressure line. And I have to construct the constant, constant volume line to show my this process, 2 to 3 dash. So, 3 and 3 dash on same pressure line, 3 and 3 dash on same pressure line. Now let's complete the cycle. Efficiency is given by 1 minus Q out upon Q in. Is Q out is, uh, is Q in for both the cases is same? Same. What is the heat rejected for diesel cycle? So this one is heat rejected for diesel cycle. Is from 4 dash to 1. So does it has the extra area? This one is extra area as compared to this area also. So Q out is more in 
diesel q out is more for auto therefore efficiency of auto is less than efficiency of diesel next condition is same maximum pressure and same maximum temperature same maximum pressure means uh, this point will come to here and the same maximum temperature t3 will will not change so what is the two restrictions here one restriction is that we cannot go above this pressure and other restriction is that we cannot go above this temperature so these are the restriction p max and this restriction is t max so if this one is your the maximum temperature for diesel cycle then this process is constant pressure process so where is the constant volume process is it below this is the constant volume process if 3 is fixed then this 3 is fixed so can we complete the cycle like this now notice here this is okay this is 2 dash is it this also 2 dash is this t2 dash has less compression ratio as compared to 2 to 1 so temperature rise will be less comparison is between maximum pressure and maximum temperature not heat input now if you see the efficiency which is equals to 1 minus heat rejected by heat supplied so in this case heat rejected 1 to 4 for both cycle is same 1 to dash 3 4 is it a auto cycle diagram area below this that is 1 to 4 is it same for both process so it is not a good idea to give the answer with the help of what q out now this time the answer can be given with the help of q in this is constant volume process is the heat supplied in case of constant volume process is this area is equal is less as compared to diesel cycle actually if you take the reciprocal of this one is the efficiency of diesel is greater than efficiency of auto Qn is more or less? If Qn is less, this factor is more. It's subtracted from one. So efficiency of auto is less. When this factor is more, when this factor is more, which is true for what? Diesel. Then this factor is less. So efficiency of diesel is more.